All right, everyone, we are here for match four of the Modern League with Heartless Summoning Eldrazi. I am now two and one. Would definitely love to get one more match win in one of these last two matches. This way I can recoup my entry fee. Obviously, two more match wins would be ideal. But, you know, I, uh, I keep my expectations at a, at a moderate level. So... To recap, round one we played against Naya Blitz and we got blitzed. Did not do too well. Round two played against a blue red, weird, aggressive, aether vial, snapcaster mage, bolt deck, and then round three we beat a Esper Mill. So let's see what this round brings us. It would help if I turned on my headphones. I have won all four dice rolls, which has been pretty amazing. This might be keepable. I think I'm going to keep this and hope for the best. I like the early disruption. The double Urborg is pretty sick. And not in a good way. Ha! <laughs> Ye old mirror. God, what do I want to take here? I mean, do I care if he inquisitions me? He's, he can't even wasteland strangler. He can't put any pressure on me. Uh, uh, maybe I'll hit path, and then he'll go inquisition. No, I'll hit inquisition. He'll inquisition my duress probably, and then I'll be good to go. So, all right. <clears throat> The mirror, mirror is curious. Heartless summoning makes me a bit faster. I don't have it yet. I notice he doesn't have any of his Eldrazi lands. So <laughs> this is going to be uh, quite the unique matchup. He did not take my duress, which I find kind of surprising. Maybe I shouldn't, though. All right, we'll take his path. So he's got a Swamp, Windswept Heath, Wasteland Strangler, and Blightburger. So actually, I'm kind of in trouble if I don't draw some uh, some non-legendary lands next turn. All right, so we've got Windswept Heath, Blight Herder. Oh, no. Yeah, I think I'm in trouble. Dang it. Yeah, that was that was a good call on his part, hitting the, uh, hitting the map. But I don't feel like I'm under a whole lot of pressure yet. Oh, the shitty thing, too, is... Well, no, never mind. He's also got an Urborg. I was thinking if he got an Eye of Ugin, my Urborg would have helped him with his eye, but it, it's really insignificant at this point. All right. So we have our third land online. I'm really hoping for an Eye of Ugin next turn. Yeah, an Eye would be nice. We can go Conduit. I probably wouldn't grab anything. Just go conduit to have the body out. Sure. He might be able to cast Blight Herder next turn. Depending on if he's got another land. He's starting to put some pressure on me, but again, the game's dirtling a little bit. Alright, so we got blockers. We're not going to search. Quite frankly, I need another Eldrazi temple. So wait, six, seven, eight. Yeah, if I top another temple, it's Ulamog time. So now I got a blocker. I can actually start putting some pressure on him. Okay, so he's got another Wasteland Strangler in hand. So, which is fine. Okay. 
Because you could have cast a Blight Herder there too. Now we're talking. Come on, baby, show me the money. Godless Shrine. No. So what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. God, I couldn't hit another Eldrazi Temple on that, really. All right, Blight Herder. He could have a sower of his own. All right. I think that's fine. Unless he's got Ulamog in hand. If he's got Ulamog in hand, I could be screwed. What do we got? He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, if he's got Ulamog in hand, then I could be in trouble. Six. Cast Conduit. Grab another Ulamog. If I just have Conduit out, I'm good, right? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, because then I could just double Ouroborg. Uh, so, all right. So, we'll grab. Yes. We will grab the Ulamog. And hope he doesn't have one. Go for the throat? Yeah. I think if he did have Ulamog, he would have just, like, jammed him right there. <sighs> Alright, so if I go and search for a temple. Six, seven. Can't do it this turn. So I'm just going to sit back. Oh, no. No, I still need to play the temple this turn. Next turn, it's Ulamog time. <clears throat> and I think I just whack his Eldrazi Temple and Plains. Ooh, all right. What to do for the mirror? All his dust is pointless. Doom Blades are still good. Discard's still decent. Spell Skites could be relevant. What would I get rid of? I like the idea of spell skites because I can redirect his Ulamog triggers. I have no way to deal with Ulamog once he's on the field, though, except unless I cast my own. Do I get rid of a duress? Like, I. Yeah, I kind of don't care about his discard. I mean, really, it's what? What am I taking? His discard spells and a path to exile? All right, we'll try this. <laughs> I 
<laughs> this is uh this is a weird start but again i kind of like it yeah i mean i have no big creatures i would hope i can draw into them but i've got disruption i got a kill spell i got a heartless summoning i got a spell skite i got a way to kill his temple Next turn, I can go Heartless Summoning into Spellskite. Strangler. All right, he does have an eye. Memoricide. Gee, I wonder what he will call with that. That's the right play, right? Ghost Quarter, Heartless Summoning, Free Spell Skite. So he's going for Oblivion Sower. Uh, this is tough. What other land did he have in his hand? He didn't have another temple. Oh, he probably just played that because I've got Urborg out. So, all right, I think I'm going to stick to the plan. Next turn, hope I can get an untapped land. Be nice to be able to use the map. He's probably gonna cantrip here. I bet he's short on lands. Yeah, when I looked at his hand earlier, I didn't see anything else. No land, no land, no land. All right. I could get some lands here. Boy, that's disappointing. Why did I do that? I should have used the Urborg to cast that. God, it's so stupid. Just bricking here? Wow. He's just he's just digging as best he can. Okay. Alright. A crack and get a temple. It's three, four, five. Damn it. Alright, let's crack it. Temple. Play it. If we cast Heartless Summoning, we would be one top deck away from casting Ulamog. And we could most certainly cast Oblivion Sower next turn. But he'd be at three. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do it. Fuck it. His best hope is that he tops a temple and casts that Oblivion Sower because yeah, he's he's got the pain coming. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, man, he is one land away from getting Ulamogged. Uh, he can cast something for five. 
You could blight hurt her. I mean, honestly, I. Ooh. Oh no, he can cast sower. So, what? Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Well, I only got one temple. All right. Come on, land off the top. Land off the top. There it is. All right. Six, eight, nine, ten. Let's do it. Do it to it. Look at all these standard cards in modern. It's crazy. I'm pretty sure he knows he's scooping. Yep. All right. Three and one, baby. So, anything beyond this is gravy. We get what? Uh, a pack and something else. Uh, we get a booster and 120 play points and one qualifier point. So, yeah, man. We're probably going to knock this out right now. So, I'm going to stop this video and we'll see you on the next one. See ya.